Let's say we're planning a short IFR flight from Frederick, Maryland to Martinsburg, West Virginia. We want to choose an alternate for our flight plan. We're somewhat familiar with nearby Winchester Airport in Virginia. We know there's an ILS approach there. So if it has standard alternate minimums for precision approaches, which are 600 foot ceilings and two statute miles of visibility, it could make a good choice. Let's look at the plate for the ILS at Winchester then. In the notes section, we see a black triangle with an A in it, meaning there are non-standard alternate minimums, but then it says NA. This means alternate not allowed. We can't use this approach in planning our alternate. Why might we not be allowed to use this ILS in our planning? The ILS at our destination, Martinsburg, doesn't have that ANA notation in it. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be any difference between these two perfectly good approaches. One hint, though, is that Winchester is a non-towered airport with a CTAF frequency, while Martinsburg has a control tower. It's not common to see an ILS approach at a non-towered airport. For all questions like this, we want to reference the Terminal Procedure publication. On page 1 of the Alternate Minimum section, it mentions that approaches with the ANA designation can't be used as an alternate. The reasons for this are, because of an unmonitored facility, the absence of a weather reporting service, or a lack of adequate navigation coverage. Let's focus on the first reason, an unmonitored facility. A facility is a ground station used as part of the approach, like a VOR, or in the case of Winchester, the localizer and glide slope antennae. An authorized operator needs to be able to monitor the facility to ensure that it's working properly and to issue a notum if there's any fault or downtime in it. At larger towered airports, the FAA usually has someone on the ground to do this monitoring, whereas at non-towered smaller airports, this is typically not possible, especially after daylight hours. If an ILS approach is unmonitored and thus it's possible it may not be working when you shoot the approach, you're free to still try. After all, there'll be no notum saying you can't, but when you're relying on the approach as your alternate, the margin for error is slimmer, so using this approach isn't allowed in planning. Be careful not to interpret ANA as meaning we can't use this airport as an alternate, though. It's just that this approach can't be used as part of the planning. There are other approaches, like the RNAV into the same runway at Winchester, which don't have an ANA designation, just the black triangle with an A, meaning non-standard minimums. Looking at the TPP for the alternate minimums for this airport, we see the RNAV-32 listed, with the only note that it's not allowed when local weather isn't available. We already know approaches can't be used as alternates without local weather from page 1 of the alternate minimum section. Other than this, the minimums for the RNAV-32 are standard, 800 foot ceilings with 2 statute miles of visibility. If we use Winchester as an alternate, we must be able to shoot the RNAV approach, and these are our weather minimums, not the lower 600 foot ceilings for an ILS approach. So the alternate minimum section for an airport are a good place for information on using it as an alternate. Be careful, however. Make sure in addition to selecting an airport, you're basing your alternate choice on an actual approach and looking at its plate too. Let's look at another example. Let's say we're on a different IFR flight and looking to plan November 8-9. Ellenville, New York is our alternate. Looking at the alternate minimum section, we don't see Ellenville. It would be here between these two airports. So does this mean there are no non-standard minimums at Ellenville? Let's have a look at an approach. This is the RNAV-4. It has the familiar ANA here. And this makes sense because the official weather source isn't located on the field. It's at nearby Stewart International, SWF. Not having local weather is one of the disqualifiers for using an approach in alternate planning, so make sure you're looking at the plates you intend to use if you were to divert here. Also remember that you don't need to divert to your planned alternate, though it's a good idea to use the actual airport you intend to divert to as your alternate. It's not just a paperwork exercise. For more training insights, head over to the Flight Insight website today, linked here and in the description.